Hi students, welcome to the session on derivation of Bayat Savatla and Ampere circuit law using vector magnetic potential concept. So, this is a simple derivation but lengthy, let us see that. So, we know that vector magnetic potential is given by B is equal to del cross A. Fine? Okay. So, first we prove Bayat Savatla. Bayat Savatla, we know it is only for line charge distribution. For surface and volume charge, it is tough. So for line charge, we know what is A vector, A is given by uh, closed integral mu naught ideal by 4 pi R vector. We take only line charge. This we know. If you have any doubt, please refer my video on vector magnetic potential. So A I know. So from this I can find B. B is equal to del cross A. A is given by mu naught ideal by 4 pi r right so mu naught by mu naught i by 4 pi is constant so del cross only 1 by r uh, dl is there fine so you see we know that we have u on vector identity that is given by del cross ck is given by C into del cross K plus del C cross K. Right, so here this is our constant, this is our K vector. So use this identity here. So it will give B vector is equal to mu naught i by 4 pi is constant integral. Inside you use this, inside you use this identity. So, first one is C, C is nothing but 1 by R, del cross K, K is nothing but DL plus del C is 1 by R, K is cross DL, right? So, this is very important. So, from this what we understand, we know that del cross DL is always 0. Why? We have a... Uh, Two points, let us assume we have two points x, y, z and x1, y1, z1. So in vector we can write uh, x, a, x, y, a, y plus z, a, z. Similarly here x1, a, x plus y1, a, y plus z1, a, z. The distance between the two points we assume as r. r is equal to, this is the difference between the two points. So x minus x1 ax plus y minus y1 ay plus z minus z1 az this r but what is y del cross dl0 so this is a point this is a distance we know dl is represented as dl is dx ax in condition dy ay plus dz az del is nothing but uh, dou by dou x ax dou by dou y a y. So if you take a cross product a x a x will be 0, a y a y will be 0, a z a z will be 0. So and moreover both are operating on the same direction. Del and D L are in the same direction. That means that they are parallel. Parallel for cross product parallel is 0 because a cross b is equal to 0 when a and b are parallel. If del and del l are, del l are parallel then del cross d l will be 0. So what will happen here, here this term will be 0, only we have b is equal to mu naught i by 4 pi closed integral del 1 by r cross dl. Now we know what is r vector. Fine. So what I want is magnitude of r and for that I have to find a gradient. What is r? r is a magnitude only that is equal to modulus of r which is given by x minus x1 whole square plus y minus y1 whole square plus z minus z1 whole square square root square root of this one so that i can write as 1 by 2 mod r clear so now what i want is gradient of this del 1 by r gradient of 1 by r that is given by del is nothing but dou by dou x 1 by r ax plus 
plus do by do by 1 by r a y plus uh, do by do do z 1 by r a z because uh, del dot 1 by r I want gradient right so del 1 by r so do by do x 1 by r I find the remaining things we can conclude so what is that do by do r into 1 by r a x is you see do by do r do x so by do by do x okay where is it do by do x 1 by r a x this is what we are going to find what is 1 by r this is r 1 by r means what will happen 1 by r equal to same thing with the power minus x minus x1 square plus y minus y1 whole squared plus z minus z1 whole squared minus of because it is 1 by of that will be minus of so what will happen so first i differentiate this with respect to x so it is like x power minus of so it will be minus 1 by 2 full factor will come so x minus x1 squared plus y minus y1 squared plus z minus z1 squared into 2 sorry into minus 1 by 2 minus 1 right what is the formula x of minus n is equal to minus n x of minus n minus 1 so the same thing into i have to differentiate this one only so 2 into x minus x1 clear so what will happen this two this two getting cancelled it is minus of x minus x1 squared here ax this ax will come here so plus uh, y minus y1 squared plus z minus z1 squared whole power minus 3 by 2 into x minus x1 ax vector this is what dou by dou x 1 by r ax right Similarly, we can write uh, do by do y 1 by r a y is equal to minus of the same thing will come. What is the only difference we will face? We will face only y x instead of x, we will get y minus y1 a y vector. Similarly, do by do z 1 by r a z again the same parameter here z minus z1 a z now what do we have to do if i want del 1 by r i have to add all the factors so del 1 by r means i have to add all the three that is equal to minus of i write again x minus x1 squared plus y minus y1 squared plus z minus z1 squared minus 3 by 2 into so this is common for all so i take it outside what is the remaining thing x minus x1 ax vector plus y minus y1 ay vector plus z minus z1 a z vector so that is minus you see this is nothing but r cap r is x minus x1 y minus y1 z minus so it is r vector right so what about this one so it is minus 3 by 2 right so i can write this one as minus 3 by 2 as 1 by x minus x1 squared plus y minus y1 squared plus z minus z1 z1 square sorry z1 square plus 3 by 2 i bring minus 3 by 2 into denominator so this is what my del of 1 by r del of 1 by r so this is minus r vector right what is mod r we have seen mod r right mod r where is that please suffer ah, mod r is this one x minus x1 square y minus y1 square z minus z1 square what is r cube r cube is nothing but same thing will be power of 3 by 2 yes or no mod r is 1 by 2 means r cube is 3 by 2 so mod r, r cube is x minus x1 square plus y minus y1 square z minus z1 square whole power 3 by 2 so that i can write here 
you see z minus x1 square y minus y1 square z minus z1 square whole power 3 by 2 i can write as r cube so that i can write minus r divided by r into r square any vector divided by its magnitude is unit vector so it is minus r cap divided by r square any vector by its magnitude unit vector remaining thing r square minus now i got del 1 by r so del 1 by r is equal to minus r cap divided by r square now we substitute in the by itself apply equation we derived what is that oh, where is it mm, it's here right okay uh, what is my ultimate uh, equation so del b is equal to mu naught by i mu naught i by 4 by del 1 by r into dl right so that is what uh, my last step so b is equal to mu naught i by 4 pi del 1 by r cross dl we've got del 1 by r so substitute that mu naught i by 4 pi del 1 by r is given by minus r by r squared into dl right so sorry it is r cap right r cap mm. this is r cap okay so if you simplify what happens b is equal to mu naught by 4 pi i if uh, minus r cross dl means you can make it as dl cross r vector right cross product is not commutative it will be the minus of this one so i you bring by r square so if you simplify this it will give b naught is equal to mu naught by 4 sorry okay b is equal to mu naught by 4 pi closed integral i d l by r squared into r cap this is what we know our by its at law thus it is proved right lengthy derivation but it is simple next we have to prove ampere circuit law right acl ampere circuit law from where from b cross a only so we know b is equal to del cross a from vector magnetic potential only we have to prove right so we have one identity del cross del cross a is equal to del into del dot a uh, del into del dot a minus del squared a del dot a is zero because a is due to steady state current right so if current is steady vector magnetic potential will be constant or steady so differentiation of constant will give zero only so if you have any doubt please refer my video on uh, vector magnetic potential so del cross a is zero so what we get is uh, del dot del cross a is equal to minus del squared a we know del cross a is nothing but b so this is b so del cross b is equal to minus del squared a right so already we know vector magnetic potential satisfy Poisson equation that we derived in the vector magnetic potential class so you see that video del, del squared a is equal to minus mu naught j this we derived Poisson equation for vector magnetic potential okay so now we take stokes theorem and apply that concept what stokes theorem tells it states that uh, h dot dl okay confusion h dot dl is equal to surface integral of it is line integral stokes theorem relates line and the surface so del cross h ds this is what stokes theorem right so we know h is equal to b by mu naught so 1 by mu naught will come outside yes del cross b ds vector fine 
So B del cross B just now only we found 1 by mu naught. Del cross B is you see minus del squared A. So minus integral del squared A dot D as vector. But we know del squared A is minus mu naught J. So what happens? That is equal to minus 1 by mu naught integral okay yes minus mu naught j dot ds mu naught mu naught cancel minus minus cancel so what happens surface integral of j dot ds that is equal to i left hand side is h dot dl is equal to I enclosed. This is what our Ampere circuit law. So that's Ampere circuit law is proved by using vector magnetic potential concept. I hope you understand the derivation, lengthy derivation, but it is simple, right? If you have any doubt, please ask me in comment section. Thank you.